When I was first introduced to the complex numbers, I instantly fell in love with them. Or should I say, I was completely mesmerized by the ingenuity of Euler's idea, which was amazingly simple and yet yielded so profound results. So still young and naive, in the pursuit of fame and glory, I set sail to explore new horizons in mathematics. My first attempted quest for new numbers started with the idea that what if I define logarithms for negative numbers? Now, initially I was so excited, but after little research, I discovered that logarithms for negative numbers doesn't yield new numbers, but rather complex numbers itself. So I did not reap the fruits of my endeavor, but I did certainly enjoy the foray into the complex analysis. And today I wish to share the thrill and fruition of my attempted quest with you. In this video, we'll explore how to find logarithms for negative numbers and in general, how to find logarithms for complex numbers. Now, my basic assumption is you know a little bit about complex numbers. So now having studied basics of complex number, we'll find out how to find log of a complex number. Now, if we have to find logarithm of a complex number, then the first thing that we need to do is we need to express complex number, which is in the form x plus iota y in Euler's form. And for that, we have to find its modulus and there'll be under root of x square plus y square. And we'll also have to find its argument, which is theta, and that is 10 inverse of y by x. So then I can express this number as r into e to the power iota theta. Now, there is one more thing about this logarithm function in complex number. So in real numbers or in real functions, so we have generally single valued functions. That is for one value of x, there'll be only one value of y. But in complex number, this logarithmic function, it's a multi-valued function. So for one value of z, we'll have many values of fz. So what we'll actually do is, rather than writing this complex number z as r into e to the power iota theta, we'll write z as r into e to the power iota 2n pi plus theta, where n belongs to set of integers. So if we write z as r into e to the power iota 2n pi plus theta, I can write this function fz as log r into e to the power i n 2n pi plus theta. Now log m into n, it is log m plus log n. So I'll simply write it as log r and then log e to the power iota 2n pi plus theta. Now, another property of logarithms. So this power will come out. So I can write it as log r to the base e and then iota 2n pi plus theta and then into log e base e. Now, same base, same number, logarithm is one. So I can say, the value of log z simply will be log r and then iota 2n pi plus theta where n belongs to set of integers. So this is how we can find logarithms for complex numbers. Now we'll find logarithms for negative real numbers. Now here x is greater than 0 minus x will be negative. So I'll draw an argument plane and I'll represent minus x. Now, first I need to find its modulus, which is nothing but its distance from origin. So R in this case simply will be mod of minus x and there'll be simply x. Now I'll find its argument. Now argument is nothing but the angle it makes with positive real axis. Now angle that any negative real numbers, they'll make with positive real axis is simply pi. So in this case, this angle will be pi. And I know that this log, it's a multivalued function. So I'll simply write this angle as 2n pi plus pi, where n belongs to set of integers, or I can write, so this is 2n plus one into pi. So either I can use the formula directly now. So either I'll say this is log r, and r in this case is simply x, and then plus iota, 
टू एन बाई प्लस थीटा और वी कैन गो विद जनरल प्रूफ विच इज लॉग एक्स आई कैन राइट माइनस एक्स एस आर इंटू इट दार आयोटा थीटा सो लाइट एक्स इंटू इट दार आयोटा टू एन प्लस वन इंटू फाइव नाउ लॉग एम प्लस लॉग एन सो देर बी लॉग एक्स लॉग इट टू पार आयोटा टू एन प्लस वन इंटू फाइव सो आई टेक दिस पार आउट सो दिस इज लॉग एक्स एंड देन आयोटा टू एन प्लस वन इंटू फाइव सो अगेन वील गेट द सेम रिजल्ट विच इज लॉग ऑफ माइनस एक्स विल बी लॉग एक्स माइनस आयोटा टू एन प्लस वन इंटू फाइव Now, say for example, I have to find the log of minus one. So either I can use the direct result, which is log of minus x is simply log x plus iota two n plus one into pi. Now in this case, the value of x is one, so I'll write log of minus one as log one, and then iota will be two n plus one into pi. Now we know that log one is zero, so I can simply say. log of minus 1 will be 2n plus 1 into pi into iota so that is the value of log of minus 1 so we can find logarithm for any negative real numbers if you like the video consider subscribing and sharing it with someone you know who might benefit from it also the best way to navigate any topic is through a playlist simply go to the channel page click playlist and select the topic you wish to study